Check out my brand new power station from Luby. It features a flashlight, DC output, AC, and USB. It is just one single push to enable the USB output or the AC output. You can charge your iPhone, a battery bank, and then there's a Type-C output for iPad or even um, the MacBook Pro charging, which is rated at 60 watts. The power output is displayed on the screen on the top right, and there's an input. Uh, Pass-through charging is also possible. Uh, there is a wall outlet input. You can also use this one for solar panels. 60 watts power delivery using USB Type-C charging the MacBook Pro. Now let's keep an eye on the output. The state of charge for my MacBook Pro is around uh, 26%. Okay, 43 watts. 45. 62 watts. So that's the maximum output of the uh, PD port. 67, 70? Well, that actually exceeds the power rating from this port. 70, yeah, that's the Coconut Battery app. That shows the charging details of um, the current input, the wattage. There's a delay in the app refresh. 26.6%. Uh, Use a solar panel to keep the battery bank charged. It's pretty bright. Around 40 watts input. About 10 hours, 5 hours till full. It fluctuates a little bit due to the uh, sun intensity and the overcast. And I'm using the Rock Pal panel to charge this battery bank. It comes with a lot of adapters like the Anderson plug, 8mm, it also is compatible with the Jaggery one. It has two charging, getting power from the sun and I'm also powering two devices, output 16 watts, input 33 watts. That's, that's the type C to the iPad being charged right now and there's a lamp connected and the lamp is on charging power brick is 95 watts just to demo the pass-through charging when using the wall outlet there's the input display down there the overload protection is very reliable. I know for a fact that this handheld 12-volt uh, vacuum consumes 128 watts. And if as soon as I power it on, you can see the socket gets cut off. See, it says the uh, E14 cigarette lighter, SIG overload and you would have to power it off and then power it back on just to, you know, re-enable that socket. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, maximum output from these AC outlets are rated at 700 watts max, um, I'm sorry, continuous and 1000 watts max as a combined rating. 
So yeah, I think this protection is a great design because you don't have to worry about replacing the fuse. So there are other products I've used in the future that you will just simply blow the fuse and you have to you know, buy the fuse and replace it. With this protection to cut off the circuit, that is a, a much, much better design. And the light would have a few more modes. There's nothing in the back and nothing uh, on left and right side. There is only one vent here. It doesn't get hot. Uh, maybe a little bit warm on this side when I'm um, doing the charging. But overall, it's a really solid design. Um, the rubber handle is pretty solid here and comfortable to grab. The rubber feet are non-skip. Yeah, anyway, it's a great product. I can highly re recommend it. Thank you very much for watching.